Now, investigators in Atlantic City say a fire that broke out inside of a home in Atlantic City is now considered suspicious. Ten people had to be rescued when the flames began to spread quickly. Three of those required treatment. Action News reporter Annie McCormick now with the latest from Atlantic City. Tonight, investigators are still working to figure out what the cause was and if this fire was intentionally set. The fire chief tells us that this is the toughest blaze that they've fought in three decades. Go to third alarm. Go to a third. This raging fire that engulfed five Atlantic City row homes today is being investigated by the fire marshal as suspicious. Firefighters, when they first got here, they immediately went into rescue mode. Um, you know, the heroic efforts, the, uh, the men and women of the fire department, I haven't seen this in 36 years. Fire Chief Scott Evans telling 6 ABC the intense blaze immediately went to three alarms, bringing nearly 50 firefighters to the scene, including help from neighboring towns. The wind was blowing where the visibility was, was near zero. The fire quickly spread horizontally and, and then interior to the, into all five buildings at the same time and then extended vertically inside the buildings. The doors was hot and everything. And I felt like if I opened the door, it's going to be a backdraft or something like that. I was just scared. I was really scared. I didn't know what to do. Ten people were rescued, five by police and five by responding fire crews. Three people had to be taken to the hospital. The, the rescues were made from uh, third floor windows, uh, off ground ladders. Um, guys running into the burning buildings with smoke and fire and, and grabbing the, uh, you know, the occupants and bringing them out safely. Of the five homes, three were occupied. Two were supposed to be vacant, but crews are investigating if people were squatting inside at the time of the fire. The fire marshal's arson canine was at the scene shortly after the fire was placed under control and deemed suspicious. I'm just glad that everybody worked together and you know, everybody screaming, yelling, and we just yelling for the people's names to get them out of there. The fire chief tells us they're still working to figure out exactly how many people were displaced to see if they need assistance from the Red Cross. In Atlantic City, Annie McCormick for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.